What's going on guys, it's your boy, welcome back to another video. So today I had the joy of going to see the newest Pixar movie out in theaters, um, Elemental. And I will say this, I think that it was a really, really shockingly good movie. My My movie. movie. Review. Review. Okay, so I do want to go ahead and start with saying, um, I, like a lot of people, I believe, really underestimated this movie. I've seen a lot of the trailers and promotional stuff for this movie and I've seen it and I thought that it, it doesn't really look like that great of a concept. Um, it seemed very boring. It didn't seem like it was going to be very interesting. It didn't seem to have like that heart that a lot of Pixar movies has kind of been lacking recently. Uh, but I will go ahead and say this. I think that it is one of the best Pixar movies that have came out in the last 10 years. Um, I think that in the last five years, P Pixar has kind of put out a lot of more questionable movies. But I do think that this one was very solid. It really hit the landing with me. And I think that it was a really beautifully well written story. And I think that the character work in it was very, very good. And it has one of the best love stories I think that any Pixar movie has had. And I think that that is great because it started off, um, you know, Pixar, they love to do their Pixar shorts beforehand. And beforehand, it started off with Carl's Date, which is, I was very nervous about because personally, I think that that was not the best idea of making a short about Carl having a date because his love story with Elle in the Up movie is really beautiful and the way that they portray that entire character arc of them quickly falling in love and them basically sharing an entire life together they try to have a kid they can't have a kid um and then her dying of a disease was very heartbreaking it was a really sad way to start the Up movie but it showed that like he cared about her and loved her more than anything ever and not having her around was really like hard for him to live anymore um and i think that the way that they kind of shared that love story in that movie was really really brilliant and really really well done so when i heard that the first um little short story that they're gonna have before this movie was carl's first date i was a little sad i was kind of like okay what is this going to be and uh, i will say this after watching it i think that it was great they did not show the woman who he was going to be going on a date with he did not um they didn't they didn't have her voice or anything it was just between doug and kind of be showing that like he doesn't know how to go on a date and he's just like this really cute old man who doesn't really know how to go on a date and is very nervous he's not entirely sure what to do and um it ends with him picking up the picture of him and l and um looking at it and saying this is really scary this is a new adventure and um, no matter how this ends, you will always be my girl. And then he kisses the picture. And that was perfect. That was beautiful. That was exactly what I wanted. So, um, considering that was the entire reason why I actually went to go watch this movie in theaters, um, I'm very grateful that it, they did that well because I was very, very nervous about it. But it was good. I really liked it. And, um, yeah, now I'm going to talk about the actual movie itself. Um, Elemental was pretty good. Um, for those of you guys who do not know the overall plot of this movie, um, there's... The fire people, water people, earth people, air people, they kind of live in harmony. There's just one big, beautiful utopian city, um, kind of like Zootopia type vibes. Um, and everybody wants to live there. Everybody really, you know, um, wants to have their part in that city or whatever. But then the fire people are depicted. Um, we just see the two at first. Um, I believe their name is Bert and... I was going to say Bert and Ernie. That's not right. Um, it's her parents. It's Bert. And I cannot remember the other name right now. But um, her parents are going through the, the immigration process, basically. They're being introduced to this new town. And everywhere where they go, they're trying to find rent. They are kind of being like socially outcast because they're fire people. And people don't want to rent out their places to fire people. And so... It's a very sad montage of them going from apartment that says for rent, an apartment that says for rent, an apartment that says for rent, to eventually they find this house that's for sale, and it is an absolute shit show. It's a really bad house. It is in terrible condition, um, and it's not a great house, but they'll buy it because it's the only house that they are able to get, and um, I think that this movie does a great job showing the hardship of immigrants. Um, I am an idiot. The entire duration of the movie i was trying to figure out like what culture that they are trying to like represent with this and um it's very obviously some asian culture um whether or not it's like japanese or 
like Chinese or something in particular, I could not tell. But um, it's definitely supposed to be Asian culture, and I feel really bad because watching the trailers, I thought it was, that the father was supposed to be an Italian moving to the New York City to create like a pizzeria type thing. Because the only stuff that I saw from the father in the trailer, he gave off very Danny DeVito vibes, and Danny DeVito typically plays like you know like Italian fathers, um, well Italian grandfathers usually. But yeah, so I thought that you know that's what it was going to be, and I was wrong about that. And then we watch the first like immigration scenes. I'm thinking that they're Hispanic of some kind because they're speaking another language that they don't really understand. And then they call them stuff that kind of sounds like they would be slurs towards the Hispanic culture. Um, and I realized that that was also wrong. So um, what I've learned from this is I apparently do not know enough about cultures. And I appreciate that there are movies like this that are for little kids that can kind of help show them that other cultures exist and... Um, you should be proud of where you come from and stuff like that. And I thought that that was really great. Um, something that I like about it is they have symbolism of their ancestors and how they honor their ancestors by having this blue flame that they always keep with them. And um, it shows that it's very, very important to them. It connects them with their whole family. And um, it's very beautifully well written. I really, really like it. Um, and now I'm going to get to the actual like things that I really, really liked about this movie. Because overall, I don't think I really had any flaws with this movie. I thought that this movie really landed well with me. Um, the humor of this movie was fantastic. There were so many, like, different element puns in it, but every single one worked really, really well. Um, the world building in it was fantastic. Like, showing, like, um, the fire town is kind of, like, supposed to be, like, Chinatown, essentially, where, you know, all of them, they get together, they have their, like, special markets, and they have their different... Um, like cultural stands like they have certain food stands and fruit stands and farmers market type things that are very cute and culturally just beautiful and i think that the animation in this movie was also very beautiful um what's it called so there's that stuff that i really like um i think that the all of the side characters were really great and something that i really like is they have like a prominent character for each of the elements every time i was watching the trailers for this it seems like it was literally just going to be a fire versus water type thing but there is a character that gets introduced that's like the water guy's boss essentially and she's an air person and she's kind of like always there trying to kind of help people out and she is um a very important character in certain aspects of the story and then there is an earth guy um, who's like an earth little boy who's always constantly hitting on Ember, and I think that it's absolutely adorable, and I love it. Um, and I really like the fact that they included a lot of the different elements instead of it just being like, here's fire, here's water, fire and water can't mix, and kind of creating this um, interesting like Romeo and Juliet type story. And I really like it. Um, another thing that I really like about it is um, a lot of the humor is so ridiculously stupid, but it works because like... You know when you tell, like, the same joke over and over again, and, like, the first time you say it, it'll be really funny. It'll get a lot of laughs. The second time you say it, there'll be a couple people here and there who will find it really funny. And then, like, third and fourth time, it's, like, not really funny. Fourth time, I mean, fifth time, it's not really funny. But then, like, the sixth time, it just randomly will be super funny again. And it kind of, like, hit that a lot. For those of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, um... I really wish I could remember the name of the stand-up comedian. There's a stand-up comedian who did, did a bit where he's like, I say this, you say that. And then he does that for like a minute long. And it's so funny because when you first hear it, you'll laugh at it, right? And then after doing it for like a couple minutes, it's not funny for very long. But then like since it's just all about the commitment and never losing the energy. And by the time you get through it, it's so funny. And what I'm talking about specifically is there is, like, for some reason, a trope where all the water people, like, cry a lot. And um, it it's just so funny. Every single time it happens, I caught myself, like, laughing my ass off. And there were a lot of, like, completely laughing out loud moments in this movie. I think that the humor in this definitely has some more, like, adult humor that um, will go over kids' heads. But, like, if you're watching this and you're, you know... Um, older than the age of like 16 there's a lot of stuff in here for you to love that is really funny um and i think that overall the like story is just great because it's a the fire girl water guy they're trying to meet each other understand their cultures a little bit and they're trying to really like get to know each other's sides of the stories because the water guy is a city boy he's always lived in the city and in her eyes he's like a rich guy he's snooty he's 
you know, privileged, not really necessarily like privileged, privileged, but like she sees him as somebody who's more upper class when she's lower class. She doesn't really have a, as much opportunities as he has. And um, I like the way that he kind of helps open her eyes to the fact that she has plenty of opportunities too. She just needs to be as daring as she can be because he sees her as this brave person who is not afraid of anything. And he kind of realizes throughout the time of the movie that she does fear one thing and it's being rejected by her father. And he kind of helps her break her out of that shell. And um, I really love the way that he is able to kind of like help her see her own self-worth. Um, I think that Ember is a great character and that she is kind of like Meredith in a sense where she's like, she's outgoing, she's brave, she will do anything to kind of sell, help out her own honor and help out her family's honor and stuff like that. And um, she's very hot headed, which chef's kiss. That's something else I think they did really well with is um every like character who is like a main character for a different element they have little different little characteristics of that matches their elements so well and i think that this movie was very thought out the writing in it was great the overall story of it was great the humor in it was fantastic the animation was beautiful there were multiple different scenes where they are going and like kind of having their little, um, I can show you the world. And, like, they're seeing, like, little pretty things. And, like, he takes her to, um, a sporting event or whatever. And we get to see the sporting events. And, like, the people do the wave and stuff, which you've probably seen in trailers, which is really cool. Um, they go to this really cool bridge and they check out beautiful lakes and stuff like that. Um, she creates cool glass little creations that are absolutely beautiful. And, um when they first start like trying to figure out if they can like hold hands and stuff, they sometimes will change the art style a little bit to show like their love and then like truly connecting. And I think that it was absolutely beautiful. Um, overall, I think that this movie really had the heart and soul of an old fashioned Pixar movie. And I think that it was one of the funniest movies I've seen this year. And I definitely 100% would recommend going and seeing it. Now this, obviously I'm not gonna say you should 100% go see it in theaters. Um, I would say that you can definitely wait till this is on Disney Plus, but I just know that a lot of people are kind of going to treat this like other movies like Strange World that came out last year and Turning Red and Luca and stuff like that, where a lot of people are like, I don't see a point in watching it. There's not really a lot of, you know, really good things about this movie. But me personally, I think this movie was fantastic. And if you have the time to go see it, just definitely go watch it. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, and overall, my rating for this movie is a solid 88 out of 100. I think that it is arguably top 10 Pixar movies of all time. It is very good. And I might just have recency bias, but I will say I cried during this movie, which is not something that happens very often. So if you want an emotional roller coaster, you want to laugh your ass off, you want to see something that is artistically beautiful, definitely would recommend watching this movie. Animation movies have been taking W's this entire year. And I think that this is uh, no different than that. But yeah, so that was it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bow. Bow, bow.